It's actually one of our best games, um, if not probably the best game so far, as far as over a 90 minute period. There, we've had moments in other games that were very good or halves, but I uh, thought we um, had a lot of the ball and were creative going forward. Unlucky not to score if it wasn't for this goalkeeper. Uh, I can't remember her name, but uh, <laughs> uh, but um, I was really I was really proud of the team. I thought the effort was there, the mentality was there, kept pushing. Um, it was a tough one to give up. Um, towards the end um, in that transition moment. Uh, we got caught a little bit, but um, we're just going to keep <laughs> keep grinding and, and getting better. And uh, I think you saw some improvement from the last game, so that's important. Very creative. I thought Sid was very dangerous up top. Um, Erica coming in, um, you know, beat, this is her first start, and very creative, really good movement. Gunny worked her but off as usual and made some great runs. Um, she's just the energizer bunny out there. And uh, I thought the support angles were good. The movement was good. The um, getting in the flank space. We have to be a little bit more, um, I think, precise on our crosses and trying to pick players out and seeing where those gaps are. Uh, but they, they defended those well. They blocked a lot of crosses. I think we got uh, you know three corners off of block crosses. But you know maybe it's taking an extra touch to get in line and create a new angle, um, find a different seam. Um, so that's one thing I think in the attack we can do better is, um, you know, taking on 1v1 in the flank space. I think, you know, Daring was dangerous when she came in, but I want her to be more dangerous. I want her to go at players and, you know, be courageous and, and, and be okay with losing a ball. And, and that's, we have to know that's a outcome sometimes and it's okay. They were very good, uh, like I said. Um, the composure on the ball, I think they're courageous and they're turning under pressure and then their ability to move off the ball and want to run the show. So I thought they both were very good. Um, just more of attacking presence there. Darian's um, very dangerous out wide, and that's her natural, I think, position to be in a, a wide space taken on an outside back. That's not necessarily... Uh, Kayla is more of an internal player. We, we played her a little bit more as the eight today, popping out in the wide space, but... Um, I thought Kayla was good. She works hard, and, and she looked like she was a little gassed at halftime, um, so that's why we made that sub then. And, you know, going forward, she's a player that can play 90 minutes, and that's what we're, you know, trying to manage uh, minutes still. We have another game on Sunday. So right now, we're, again, it's about building um, relationships on the field and putting Darian somewhere she hasn't been yet. Um, she's been mostly high, and, you know, we wanted to see how effective she could be in that wide space. Pictures at halftime of, I think, um, how we could break them down. Um, we got a good feel for what they were doing defensively, and we, we saw the spaces where we could explore. So, um, these shirts were uh, made before the last game. I don't know if we got off the bus at North Carolina. The players were all wearing them. Um, I wore this shirt in that game, but it was so cold. I don't know if anyone saw that. I was wearing a big jacket. So um, I think everyone knows about the banner and it being taken down. And so this is the actual banner. Like, this is, like, the the – the design uh, is exactly the same as the banner. And I uh, just wanted to show support. The whole team wanted to show support uh, for the community, the gay community, LGBTQ community. Um, and just know that we, 
it matters to us. It matters to this team a lot, and uh, it matters to the coaches as well. And so I wore it, um, and then we took a picture. So all the players put it back on at the end and took a picture with the uh, Black Swans um, to show you know support for that group. And uh, we got T-shirts for all of them, the Black Swans, I think, and then all the staff um, within the Pride City organization. So anyone that was here uh, from the from the club, um, you know, came over and took that picture with us. So it was a it was a really cool moment. I mean, it sucks to lose like that for sure. Um, we we definitely were all over them, especially in the second half. Um, and it was like a goal was coming, a goal was coming, and you know, we're happy with how we played. I think this is our best, you know, 90 minutes for sure, and we can work off that. Um, but we just got to finish. I've got to finish, and uh, it'll come together, I promise. Well, awesome. Um, the North Carolina game definitely woke us up a little bit. Um, you know, our attack was non-existent, and, you know, we create a half chance a game, and that's not good enough. So, you know, today we had more than – a lot more chances, real chances, and um, it's it's fun to see it come together, um, and I'm really excited for the. Future. It it was a it was a difficult game because the chances were there definitely, um, the header in the first half um, I should have gotten that that's on me, um, and then you know we hit two posts, um, so I think it's just it's just a matter of time, and it was nice to see us create real chances today. And you know, next time we'll be finishing them. It's definitely weird, right? Like, I mean, going up against Kriegs and Ash on different teams, uh, you know, I never really expected that, and neither did they. So, you know, it was fun. Um, I love that battle with Kriegs. I love the battle with Ash, and you know, it reminded me of what we've always done: just go at each other. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited for next game. Out there, um, it was nice being my birthday to like play a game, uh, my first game. Nice little birthday present, um, and I think it's the best the team's played um, since the start of the Challenge Cup. Um, it's the best game we've played defensively, offensively. It's just unfortunate that we conceded the goal. Um, we had a lot of chances to to take the win. Um, to score some goals and it just didn't work out today. It's not been so hard to gel, I don't think. Um, the jet lag hit me pretty hard, I won't lie. Um, and still I wake up very early, which is kind of annoying. But um, yeah, it's not been hard at all to gel. Like We play together every day in training, so there's been a lot of training sessions where I'm playing with the defensive line and the six, and like the girls are really easy to get on with and easy to play with, so they made it... A, easy job for me really. To France the game is a lot more open. Um, in France you could definitely kill teams off um, and in this league you have to you have to finish the chances that you're given because you don't get a lot and as today we didn't finish the chances that we had and ended up losing the game from one one opportunity really. It's still pre-season we're pretty much a new team um, we've had a lot of changes um, and Amanda's come in and she wants to see people playing. Um, but I think overall we we were solid at the back. I think in the first half I didn't have one shot on target to deal with. I don't think I touched the ball with my hands honestly in the first half and in the second half as you get ty more tired and the game progresses the game opens up a little bit and they had a couple of half chances. So I think defensively it's still we could be we might be changing the personnel but it's still pretty solid. Um, I think we just keep a good shape as a back four. Um, I think that's that's pretty important. And then the midfielder that's playing in front of us is also shielding the, the centre-backs very well. Um, so they're not actually having to do that much work defensively. And then we're just putting bodies on the line. Um, you saw it. Amy had a couple of blocks. Tony as well. Um, just bodies on the line. And it's solid defending. I think for the majority of the game we were on top. I think it's a little bit, it was the 86 minute you said? I think it's a little bit of like a lapse in concentration. Um, the ball came across the six, the, sorry, the 18. And maybe it really shouldn't have got that far. Um, and then myself and Tony tried to clean up the situation and it didn't work and they took, they took their chance really, so. Yeah, it was like weird. 
you know, this is my home. This is like my people and my city and I love it so much and it means so much to me. So, I mean, it was a really tough day. It sucked. Um, talked to Sid majority of the last 48 hours and we were like, are we going to laugh or are we going to cry? But we laughed a lot and, um, yeah, there's no like weird tension or anything. Like there's so much love and respect there. Um, you know, everything has to come to an end sometimes. So it is so lovely to be back and see all these familiar faces and people I genuinely care about. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bittersweet type of feeling. I miss you a lot, but honestly, it's so much fun going against Sid. Like, I love it. It's like, we're so competitive. And I feel like all game, we were just like, let's go. And that's like all, that's how we always, like always put each other on different teams. We love going against each other. So that, that kind of felt at home. Um, just looks like I was a little bit better today, so. <laughs> all right, well.